Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of fun projects to share with you featuring some of the new January release products. I'm going to be starting with the Friendly Fox Dynamics. So here is the Friendly Fox Outline die. And I'm going to die cut it on a little card, a little white card. Hinges at the top. I hung the ears over the top, as you can see. And this is going to make a little shape card base. This is how I make my shape cards. I hang it off the hinge, the hinged edge, and that'll be your base. Now I'm going to die cut all the fox parts. So if you go on the My Favorite Things website and you look up the Friendly Fox, it gives you all the little design team samples. And they just made some amazing samples that I fell in love with. And my mind was bursting with fox ideas. So I'm a sucker for a shape card. So I had to do that first. But this would make such a cute little tag on a gift. It also would make an adorable Valentine. It would make the cutest place card. I could go on, okay? The fox has many options. So I wanted to add a little gradient love to it. I die cut it with some kind of orangey yellow cardstock, but I wanted to bump up the orange. So I use a mixture of carved pumpkin, and then mostly I did uh, ripe persimmon distress oxide, and kind of masking off parts of it, because I don't want it to all be uh, ink blended, just parts of it to be ink blended. It, it looks like a hot mess right now, but you'll see when I get all the pieces adhered, how it comes together. I just want like the base of the ears, the sides of the cheek and the bottom of the feet. And then we can't forget the perfectly poofy fox tail. And speaking of friendly foxes, I got to dig out an old picture. I think it's from two years ago. This time of year, I was working in my craft area in my dining room. There's tons of windows. And lo and behold, I look up and there was the cutest little fox playing right outside my window. I grabbed my camera, took a picture. Look at this. I tapped on the window with my finger. It stopped and looked at me and I snapped that photo. I mean, seriously. And it was hopping around like a squirrel digging in the snow. I'm not sure if it was looking for food or if it was just playing. I don't know, but it was the cutest little thing ever. And it kind of sort of reminded me of this friendly fox in a way. So now I'm adhering all the pieces onto the fox. I, I got the little inner ears, which I added a bit of uh, sponge sugar distress ink to make them pink. And then now I'm adhering the eyes. And I use the glossy accents with the precision needle tip ending I've got on that makes it so easy to add teeny tiny drops of glue. I went back and forth whether or not I wanted a pink nose on the fox. I, I decided to go with black nose. Either way you go, potato, potato, it's going to be cute. And then that little white tip on the tail. I'm adding some ripe persimmon to the arms and the little furry paws. Is that what these are? Just adding those to the ends of the arms. And then you'll start adhering the arms. You can kind of tuck them under. And there's a lot of cute things you can do with these arms. I saw the uh, design team have the arms holding something like a note or a sentiment. I'm thinking maybe chocolate, what have you. Uh, I'm just kind of shoving those up in there and then little glossy accents on the back to adhere the tail. And then once you've got that all put together, sky's the limit of what you could do with this little friendly fox. I, however, am going to adhere it to my little uh, card base to make a shape card. But this little friendly fox could go, could go on a tag could go on a card and I'm not finished. I'm going to add some rosy cheek. I've got these little detail blending sponges by Ranger and they are the best for adding the softest, subtlest, is subtlest a word? Uh, rosy cheek. So I'm using sponge sugar and I mean, who doesn't love a little rosy cheek on a fox? I mean, come on. And then I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the Sweet Celebrations stamp set. It's just a simple little love you. And then as well, a heart, which is also from Sweet Celebrations. Going to stamp that with more of that sponge sugar. And then look at it. I think I'm going to use this for a Valentine because, but then I'll have to make four more because I got five little foxy kids. So moving on to the second card, this is the friendly tree. So before I die cut the friendly tree, I die cut an oval, just a simple oval that is just slightly larger 
than the friendly tree. It's going to act as a nice little frame. I do have a metal shim underneath to get a real clean cut because this is an intricate die. But look at that. Now, I want the friendly tree to be the star of the show, especially that negative space in there. So what I did was make a panel slightly larger than the oval. I cut a bunch of strips of solid color cardstock. Like I went through my scrap bin like nobody's biz and just cut rainbow strips. Once I got those all adhered, I'm gonna trim it down to make it nice and clean. I don't know why my strips are slightly going uphill. Hopefully no one notices that, but it is there. Now I'm gonna pop up this striped panel onto a white card base, put a little foam tape on the back of the friendly tree. Now for a sentiment. I am embossing a little sentiment from the Tweet Hearts stamp set, embossing that in white on a strip of black cardstock. It says, so kind, so you. And then what I'm doing here is cutting a teeny little sliver of foam tape to slip underneath that tree to give support under my sentiment strip. So no one's gonna see it, but you need the support. This card is finished. It's clean, simple, colorful, and right up my alley. I love these two cards. The January release is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.